man, Star Wars is fucked. It is. And movies. It is. It really, really is. The Last Jedi, the fallout over The Last Jedi and Solo fucked the brand. It, it hurt the brand so much. And, and you can sit there and go, but Matt, you're wrong. No, I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong because if I was right or if I was wrong, sorry, if I was wrong, we would be hearing about the future of Star Wars on a theatrical sense. Past episode nine, further deeper into the lore of Star Wars, Ryan Johnson's trilogy, which they still say is happening, but I don't believe it. The Game of Thrones guys doing their trilogy, multiple trilogies, spinoffs, anthologies, single standalone adventures from Star Wars, one a year, two a year, eight a year. It would happen, <laughs> right? We would hear about this, but the brand is hurt. The, the brand is hurt. It'd be bad. You got Triple Force Friday coming out in a few months where they're going to be doing the Mandalorian toys, Episode 9 toys, and Frozen toys. Okay? Mission them, mashing them together because the Last Jedi toys failed to sell. Solo toys failed to sell. So they're going to release them all at the same time for maximum hype and hoping that parents will buy them all for their children or collectors. I'm not going to lie. The Mandalorian toys, I'm looking forward to seeing what they come up with, at least through uh, Funko Pops. I'll probably have to head back up to the store uh, in Everett, which is like two hours north from here. I was just there a couple months ago and uh, check it out. But anyway, how, how I know Star Wars theatrically is fucked because news broke about Lucasfilm focusing more on television. Four shows specifically, four, four new shows. Now we know the Mandalorian has wrapped production. It's currently going to be finishing up its editing for a fall 2019 release on Disney Plus, and I'm just, I so can't wait for that. We know that they're working on the Cassian Andor series with Diego Luna. That's coming. They're going to be giving us a prequel to Rogue One, and I'm looking forward to that too. Give us more K2SO. Give us more. Give us more him, man. He was great. I want to see that relationship. That's the new, uh, <laughs> that's the new Han and Chewie. That's the new Han and Chewie, guaranteed. But now we're hearing that they want to develop Kira and Lando television shows. They want to develop Kira and Lando television shows as well as Ray, not Ray, sorry, Finn and Poe television shows, which is so weird to me. So obviously they want to continue what happened in Solo. Game of Thrones is done. Amelia Clark is now a free agent, not signed to any kind of television. She might want to do some movies, but her theatrical outings outside of Game of Thrones have been kind of... Mm -hmm. Terminator Genesis didn't do so well. There was that one Nicholas Sparks one that she did that no one really cared about. And you have Solo, which again, bombed and not her fault. She was great in the movie, but they liked the character of Kira. And Kira is very interesting in regards to what happened with her when she got away from Lady Proxima and ended up where she was when we met her. They also want to talk, possibly do a Lando Calrissian show, which I think just somewhat explains itself. I, I think, I think just somewhat explains itself itself at that point in time that's what i think is going to happen with that one but whether or not amelia clark comes back for kira we don't know we're hoping considering how much money they are throwing at these shows and i'm using marvel as an example here they're they're, they're doing the you know the loki show with tom hiddleston sebastian stan and anthony mackie are back for the uh, falcon and winter soldier um uh you know and what is it uh uh Emily Elizabeth Olsen and uh and and the other dude I don't know why I'm breaking his name blanking on his name right now Vision doing a show they're putting money in that they're gonna they're gonna want to do the same thing here for branding purposes so if they got a, a Lando and Kira show because Lando and Kira know each other we could have them cross over there we've got a little bit of a mini Star Wars cinematic universe on television around the same time frame that is if they can get Donald Glover to come on to play Lando Calrissian in this TV show. And the likelihood of that happening is not very high, to be honest with you. Um, with, with him winning the, uh, at the Grammys and Atlanta on FXX, uh, or FX going to come back for its third season at some point in time, as well as his other endeavors that he's working on the likelihood of getting him into a show that's going to require four to six months out of the year to shoot is probably not very high. Just saying, sorry, I'd love it. I, I'd love it to happen. I'd love it if they, if they did like, if they did, they made it work and they might offer him enough money it might be in his contract to make it work. But interestingly enough, all the Nihon Reich is missing from that, which is a shame, which is an absolute shame. But that kind of tells me that they're still working on what to do with him. Right. 
what I think they should do, and this is gonna, this might not be well well liked, but I think they should do a solo sequel with a lower budget and put it on Disney Plus, not as a soft reboot, but as a continuation, and tie the two shows into that. Give us the Boba Fett, Fett thing, give us Job of the Hut, and do that, and see if that is able to spawn into something that can go theatrical, where the big money is. But at the same time, we do know that these that that movie that that entertainment is moving to streaming more often than not. So this is going to play into something Disney wants for the long haul. Just keep in mind, people who who sign up for 10 bucks a month for Disney Plus who just want The Mandalorian or whatever are going to keep paying for it even when The Mandalorian's not there. So it's a long-term investment that Disney's going to use to make a lot of fucking money. Then you've got the pin, the Finn and Poe, but no Ray. Why? Oscar Isaac is a much higher demand than Daisy Ridley. So I don't get that at all. I mean, fine, whatever. They want to do that cool beans. That's cool with me. I'm okay with that. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with this. But again, it's like for, for Finn and for Poe, it all determines about where things go after episode nine. But like I said at the beginning of the video, if, if things were good in Star Wars world, if, if Star Wars world was not as borked as I think that it is theatrically right now, we would be seeing, we would be hearing a lot more about the future of the franchise. You would hear about a Ray standalone movie, a Finn or a Poe standalone movie. Uh, well, maybe not. There may be a Ray and Finn standalone movie, but and Poe might get his own thing. Um, but that's that. So the future of Star Wars is going to be very interesting to follow what happens at Celebration. And I wish I was going. I was intending on going, but I, I just can't do it. So we'll have to wait and see. But I leave, I, I leave it to you. Your thoughts, your opinions on this one. Do you think that I'm right, that I'm wrong. This is just the direction that they're going. Star Wars is ultimately fine. It's just been a, a bit of a bit of a bit of a, a bump in the road in regards to The Last Jedi and Solo. Let me know your thoughts or your opinions. Write them down below in the comment section. If you made it this far, type Star Wars into the chat, just so I know personally. And then please do like it and leave your comments and subscribe. I'll talk to you all later. Have yourself a great day and peace out. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. I greatly appreciate it. While you're here, feel free to uh, check out that uh, subscribe button. You know, you know, help help with the channel out. Or you can watch any of the newest videos and make sure that you're caught up to date with what's going on in Hollywood and entertainment. So that way, when you're at work tomorrow, you can wow your friends with the information you learn from watching these videos. That's right. I said it. Subscribe.